Welcome. This presentation will introduce the user to Banner Finance Accounting and highlight the changes between the current One Solution Finance System and the new Banner Finance System. One Solution Accounting uses a two-part string of numbers to record accounting transactions. The first part is the program code. This code is eight digits and is a classification of an institutional function or operation related to an academic discipline or grouping of services. The second part is the object code. This code is four digits and is a classification of an expenditure, income, or balance sheet item. This accounting concept is changing in the new banner system and is illustrated in the next slides. The banner finance system is comprised of four chart of accounts. Each chart represents an entity of the district. In chart one are the primary district funds, for example, general fund, child development fund, construction funds, trusts, and clubs. In chart two are the auxiliary program corporation funds, or PCPA and ASP. Chart three is the AHC foundation, and chart four is the AHC viticulture and enology foundation. In addition to charts, Banner uses a four-part string of numbers or letters to record accounting transactions. This string is referred to as the acronym FOLP. The F part stands for fund code. This code is six digits and indicates the funding source. Funds can be unrestricted or restricted. The O part stands for organization or org code. This code is three digits or characters and indicates a department of the institution or unit of budgetary responsibility. The A part stands for account code. This code is six digits and is a classification of an expenditure, income, or balance sheet item. This code is similar to the object code in one solution. The P part stands for program code. This code is six digits and is a classification of an institutional function or operation related to an academic discipline or grouping of services. This code is similar to the program code in one solution. Users will have access to charts, funds, and orgs based on security. Approved budgets will determine allowable FOP combinations. Here is an example of a FOP combination entered on a purchase request for office supplies in the business services office. In this scenario, the user would enter chart one. Next, they would enter fund 110001 for the unrestricted general fund. Next, they would enter org EBS for business services. Next, they would enter account 452 zero 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 for office supplies and finally they would enter program code six seven one zero 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 for fiscal services for reference the one solution accounting would have been six seven two two zero 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 dash forty five twenty the second example is a FOLP combination entered on a travel request using mesa grant funds in this scenario, the user would enter chart one. Next, they would enter fund 121030 for the MESA grant. Next, they would enter org BMS for math. Next, they would enter account 521000 for travel. And finally, they would enter program code 601095 for MESA Grant 1. For reference, the One Solution Accounting would have been 6010703-5210. To assist you during banner implementation, the following documents are available in the My Hancock Banner Finance Training Portal. Thank you.